The patient has been prepped and the surgeon is now ready to insert the balloon open access port. A 10 mm balloon open access port is inserted in the umbilicus using the Hassan technique. Note, the balloon portion of the port is inside the peritoneum. Now you may inflate the balloon with 10 cc sterile fluid. Take notice of the foam seal. With one hand, you may secure the foam seal in position by locking the ring clamp. The abdomen is insufflated. A small skin incision is made inferior to the xiphoid process. A 5 mm access port is inserted through the incision using an exaggerated 9 to 3 rotation while applying a steady downward pressure. Next, two additional 5 mm ports are inserted, one in the right upper quadrant and another inferior to the previous port. During port insertion, the asymmetrical dilating tip allows the surgeon a smooth controlled entry into the peritoneum. Using pilling laparoscopic instruments, the triangle of Calo is exposed. Blunt dissection is used and the cystic duct and cystic artery are identified. The cystic duct is skeletonized using a Maryland dissector. A WEC Hemolock Auto Endo 5 mm clip applier is inserted through a 5 mm port. The handle of the applier is squeezed to load a clip into the jaws. A distinctive audible click is heard, indicating the clip is fully loaded. The surgeon places the clip across the cystic duct near its origin from the gallbladder. The surgeon confirms the clip is completely surrounding the cystic duct and then locks the clip. At this point, the surgeon removes the jaws of the applier from the structure prior to loading another clip. Note that the clip is not loaded into the jaws of the applier while touching the underlying structure. Clear visualization of the clip around the structure is the key to achieving a secure lock. Two additional clips are placed across the cystic duct. With three clips placed across the cystic duct, two on the patient side and one on the specimen side, the cystic duct is divided using a pilling laparoscopic scissor. The same technique is repeated for the cystic artery. The gallbladder is freed from the liver bed and removed in normal fashion. 